Large blocks of investors in the two biggest U.S. oil companies on Wednesday demanded more disclosure about the environmental risk of extracting oil and gas through hydraulic fracturing. ExxonMobil Corporation defended the practice at its annual shareholder meeting on Wednesday, even as investors peppered Chief Executive Rex Tillerson with concerns and questions about it. A proposal requiring more disclosure by Exxon on the impact of fracking received about 30% of the votes by shareholders in the world's largest publicly traded oil company. At Travel, Chevron Corporation, which became heavily involved in fracking through a recent acquisition, 41% of shareholders backed a similar resolution. Moving on, Red Rock Energy Incorporated announces that it has registered the company in the province of the British Columbia under the name of Red Rock Projects Incorporated to pursue petroleum and natural gas exploration and production opportunities. The company has entered into an agreement with an intermediate oil and gas company to acquire up to 4,200 acres of prospective oil and gas rights in northeastern British Columbia, including two existing well bores and the related well and processing equipment. The transaction is expected to close on June the 1st, 2011 next year. After closing of the transaction, Red Rock intends to re-enter to re-complete each of these well bores with the intent of evaluating the potential for bypass hydrocarbon production. One of the well bores has been designated as a discovery well for Blue Sky Oil Pool. At the closing of this acquisition, a seismic option agreement will be executed which will provide Red Rock with the opportunity to earn 100% working interest in four contiguous sections subject to a non-convertible overriding royalty. That's it from the news desk of Faves. We will be back shortly with some more. Stay tuned till then.